It's a headache intersection in a historic town. The Florida Department of Transportation is looking at a way to get people over the Bridge of Lions in St. Augustine faster. On your side, Zach Wilcox joins us live now from the bridge. Zach, the plan is to rework the intersection on the downtown side. Yeah, Riley, this is that time of year where it really starts to get a little stressful around here. People love Nights of Lights. It's starting up next week, and it shows, especially right around the Bridge of Lions and Avenida Menendez here with a lot of the traffic backing up, folks trying to get over the bridge, trying to come back over this way as well from the beaches. So the whole idea here is just to rework that intersection a little bit. FDOT has a plan, but they want to make sure they give folks a, a chance to voice their opinions, any kind of concerns they may have over what it looks like before they move forward with this. So right now it's really just an idea, a concept, if you will, rather than having a traditional four way intersection here would have a little bit more of curved lanes happening, some more medians involved. Uh, I talked with a spokesperson for FDOT who mentioned that this should make it theoretically faster coming off the bridge and getting on to the bridge from Avenida Menendez and uh, also mentioned that you know one of the biggest impacts here is where you're turning off the bridge if you're heading northbound toward the fort. Right now you kind of have to yield and wait to merge into the lane of traffic whereas this would add an additional light so that way it gives a little more uh, leverage to folks who are coming off the bridge as opposed to just folks who are already on Avenida Menendez. I'm in the weeds a little bit here but I just wanted to show you the idea here and uh, that FDOT spokesperson is hoping this will help speed things up. We're looking far ahead. Uh, we expect our region to continue to grow. Um, we need to prepare for that growth and we don't want to get to a point where our infrastructure can't handle the amount of people that we have in the area um, and really have a massive gridlock. Looks like it's going to cost around $8 million to do this. The plan's looking at 2027, 2028, so ways off in the future here. And they're still looking for feedback from folks because right now this is just a concept. In downtown St. Augustine, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.